outside of Paris Heights. Uh, this is located off of Shelley Road, so it's like by the other side of Morris Hill, sort of. Uh, just north of the Lowe's and Glen Burnie. And I'm panning around to show you. Unfortunately, there's a bunch of apartments across the street. I don't know where HomePath is coming with the pricing for this house. It needs a lot of updating. I like the backyard, but uh, right now I'm just trying to get a good view of the uh, roof. Roof is older. Looks like it's been patched. Might be okay, but I don't know. Cosmetically, it doesn't look great. Siding. Uh, you can see we have a concrete parking pad. It needs to be filled in. There's a decent amount of holes. Interesting dip here with the uh, sidewalk. As you can see, the siding for the most part is okay, but I don't know, it's pretty faded looking. So I would almost think probably want new siding. Maybe just if you could at least see the front. Here on the side, yeah, probably not. Oh, I don't know. Here on the side, you can see the parging is messed up. I only see it right here, but I could very well freak buyers out. Get to the backyard later. Oh, let me just show it real quick while I'm here. Ooh. The um, HVAC unit, the exterior unit, looks pretty old. I like the backyard, although it does dip down. It's on a hill. Rusty shed there. Definitely need a paint job, but I like the privacy. I think there's a lot of foreigners that live here. I noticed a Spanish woman next door and an oriental woman walking down the street. Couldn't speak English too well. I'm just showing that off. Um, okay, so as we enter, it's just like those homes off of Fifth Ave. All the same layout. Windows are good. I think they're original. This one has a crack in it right there. Well, but I guess they were good, good shape. It does look like some water got in here, but it's probably from someone leaving the window open. So you have a big open uh, living room, eating kitchen. Bedrooms I measured. This one was 9 by 11. There's no lights either to get a lamp. This one was, I didn't measure the width, but it's 16 feet long. It has a nice closet, so it's a good size. I just wanted to show you, you can see the neighbor's backyard from here. With this backyard. So I guess in here all you would really need though is new carpet and fresh paint. You would probably want to redo this bathroom. It's got the tubs around, a couple of swans on it, tile from the 90s, and a new, new vanity. Update the lighting fixtures. I wonder if you could just spray paint that chrome. Might look nice. What we for in here? Going down the stairs. I don't know what's going on with that cock job. Basement's finished. Showing off the windows again. Um, so you have a big open family room. It's already pre-wired for the flat screen. This is a half bath. However, I don't think it would be that hard to convert into a full bath. Because right next to it, you could see here's where the washer dryer is, and there's space right here where you could probably put the bathtub. Oh, there's a drain. I think that's a drain. No, I don't know what that is. A piece of metal. But all the electric and plumbing seems updated. And then you have another bedroom here, off the side. Probably similar to the other one, maybe a little bit longer. 9 by 12 or 13. And then here I was hoping the camera, and it's doing a pretty good job picking up the light. 
Again, we have the electric heat pump, but it's pretty old. Um, hot water heater. And then the electric. Oh, trying to, well, it's updated, it's modern, so I'm sure it's fine. Okay, that's pretty much it. I guess the negative though is just it's across the street from the apartments.